Hey, this is Ralph Lockley with SoutheasternGeneralContractors.com. Today, we just pulled up to another job site we're doing. We finished the drywall, and this is one of the more integral processes that we go through here at Southeastern General Contractors. So I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of the job site. We've already inspected the level four finishing, and now the painter's on site, and they're preparing to do the level five. So stay tuned, follow along in this video while we're gonna do a walkthrough showing you what to look for when doing a level five drywall finish. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is when walking through, I see the painters have implemented one of the strategies and have already completed this step in our checkoff list. In the prep work, besides covering up the windows and doing the normal things, we also have them to use cardboard to make a template for the can lights and for the exhaust fans. And what we do, we cut these. I'm labeling this smart prep tip. And as you look above, you'll see where they use these, put these inside where the recessed can lights are, and they use it for the exhaust fans. Now typically, sometimes we have the motors in the exhaust fans, and if you don't have these and they spray over them, you might end up having to replace those exhaust fan motors. So, lesson to be learned from this is to have your folks do the same thing, cover up your recessed lighting and your exhaust fans, and you'll never have to worry about that on your project. So as I'm walking through the job site, I'm very pleased with the progress that's being made. The procedures are being followed. And you'll see if you look around too, we've already started doing some point up work. And what we do in that stage is we'll mix a little bit of red chalk or blue chalk into this drywall compound and go around with lights and start touching up any of the blemishes that we find during this stage. Now on the opposite end of the home, the painters are putting the level five and we'll come back maybe tomorrow when they're finished and the finishers will come back in also tint their drywall compound again with some red chalk or blue chalk. We'll go right back through the home again, looking for any imperfections, touching them up, and what this does with the colored chalk blended into the compound, the drywall compound, is it lets us see exactly all the areas that we've touched up to make sure they get sanded down properly so when we actually start the painting process, we end up with almost as best job as we possibly can, and that's a rough overview of some of the procedures we implement to get the level of quality that we do in each and every one of our homes. I'm Ralph Locklear with Southeastern General Contractors.com. Southeastern General Contractors, where making clients happy is our number one goal. Learn more at Southeastern General Contractors.com.